Hi everyone, welcome back to Lush Perfect. My name's Devon. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through our Brow FX products. And I'm also gonna be showing you what I use out of this range and how I do my eyebrows. So over the last few years, brows have really kicked off and become a big statement in everyone's beauty regime. It's almost like fashion. It's evolved over the last few years, different styles. So I'm gonna do a little demo and show you how I would use the Brow FX products on my eyebrows. I did have brow lamination and a tint on my brows a few weeks ago, so they are still quite freshly done. Obviously over the course of time with the brow lamination, your brows do go back to how they usually are. And unfortunately my eyebrow hair tends to grow downwards which is really annoying. But I'm just gonna use some of the products to show you how I can enhance my brows. Me personally, I do love that really full, bushy, brushed up look. So what I'm gonna do to create the effect before I start anything else on my brows, I'm gonna use the Brow FX Wax Pencil. With this pencil, it's got a kind of light waxy consistency, but it is clear. So if I just show you on the back of my hand, you can't really see it. But what I like about this is it can just really hold down the brow hair and you can just brush it up in any place you want. So to create this effect, what I would do, just brush through your actual brow, just, a, just quite lightly. And as you can see, it's already pushing the hairs up already. Get a little brush like this and just brush the hairs right up like so. So if you can see from this brow, how straight it is. And now you can show the brow here, how it's stuck up. As you can see, that has made a complete difference with my brows. I feel like when you do brush hair upwards, it can create more of a fuller look with your brows anyway. I feel like as well, this is kind of like a primer for the eyebrows and it does really hold the product. So once that's set into my brows, I'm then gonna go in with the Brow Pencil Grooming Brush. So there's four different shades in this product and I'm gonna use the Cool Dark Brown. I love this product because what it can do is can create hair strokes through the brow with its slanted pencil. It's quite a soft charcoal-like pencil and you can create more of a really dramatic look to a lighter look just by the amount of pressure that you put on. If I show you here, you just do really light strokes. And then you can go in and do a darker, sort of more dramatic stroke. What's also really good about this product, it is smudge proof and waterproof. So if I just show you like so. Okay, and then. So it still stays on really well. So we'll start off first with just brushing through the front to create those really lovely hair strokes. You also have a brush at the end, which you can brush through just to soften. So, created my little hair stroke just through at the front. And now what I'm gonna do is go in with the brow powder pen. So I like to put this product through my middle part where my arch comes to, just so it's a little bit more softer. The product's got a really soft powdery consistency. Build up as much as you want, just like the grooming pencil. Gonna go in and I'm just gonna go ever so lightly up around my arch. There's also four other colours in this product and I'm still using Cool Dark Brown. Now I'm just gonna use a brush that's on the brow grooming pencil and just brush that middle product out and down towards my tail so it's a little bit more softer. Like so. So I haven't actually got a lot of hair around my arch part. So I like to use products that will really stick and not bud. So this is where Hint of Tint is a lifesaver. It says it in the name, it will literally give you a lovely natural tinted kind of look and it doesn't budge until you literally have to clean it off. Like a highlighter. So cool. But we're not gonna give you a normal neon green, pink and yellow kind of color. <laughs> well, there's two colors in this and it's warm brown and cool brown. Imagine using that bright yellow highlighter to fill in your brows. That's for another tutorial. <laughs> 
So just gonna come up again with the arch and just very lightly fill here where there's any sparse bits that you don't have as much brow hair. It will literally just hold for the rest of the day, the rest of the night and you won't have to like keep topping it up. It will just stay. So to finish off my brows, I like to use these two products. It is the Brow Gel Mascara and the High Brow Growth and Conditioning Serum. So I like to use the growth and conditioning serum on my brows first before I apply the brow gel, just so I've got that bit of nourishment and any kind of condition that I can help to grow my brows. This could be used with your brows or your lashes. The brush is really cool as well because it's a brush and a comb combined together. So this is gonna help get right into the roots of the lashes or obviously into the roots of the brow hair. It's got scientifically proven formulas in it, which half of them I can't pronounce. Wait, let me just try and see if I can say one. Tretrapeptide, no, right, tre Tretrapeptide <laughs> three, I think that's it. So you're just gonna brush it through very lightly. Fun fact why I've got no eyebrows. Years ago when I was trained in beauty, a girl waxed all my hair off, right here. Thank God she's not doing beauty anymore. So once that's set and dry, I'm gonna go in with my brow gel mascara and I'm gonna go and use the color medium brown. This also comes in six different shades, including a clear color. So that's my little demo done of what products I use with my brows. So that's our video done today on our how to using our brow effects products. If you have any questions about these products, please feel free to contact us and we can help you with any inquiries. So if you brow queens are already using our products, please tag us in any photo so we can see your style of brow.